let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. In the expanded Bible translation here, a person who does not have the spirit does not accept the truths, truths that come from the spirit of God. That person thinks they are foolish and cannot understand them because they can only be judged to be true by the spirit. And you may say, Kevin, why have you gotten us to turn to this scripture? And I hope you went to that scripture. First Corinthians chapter two, verse 14. This goes along with you have to be careful of the people you choose to be around. You may be trying to live for Jesus Christ and you may tell someone what the Bible says and they may give you earthly sense, things that is worldly but makes no spiritual sense. You may say to them, the Bible says, I should do this, I should do that, I should do this or that. Then that person may challenge your answer by saying, but this may happen, or this may happen, or that may happen, so you should not do this or that. So if you begin hanging around people who choose not to go by God's rules and give you earthly, earthly, I guess in their mind, reasonable information that may convert you away from Jesus Christ. You can't be around just anyone. Some people may say, well, Jesus was around sinners and blah, 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 blah. But are you as strong as Jesus Christ? Are you a recent convert? What are your weaknesses? Are you weak towards advice? Are you weak toward being alone? Are you weak toward, like, what are your weaknesses? If you are weak with like you are trying so hard to find a friend or whatever else like that, you need to work on yourself first, then maybe you can go around and teach people. Because if you are so weak already, won't you succumb, give in to whatever those sinful people are saying? You can try to speak about the Bible to people, but if you are not strong enough as you are now, you need to sit yourself somewhere, probably be alone, and have one-on-one -on -one alone time with God until you get strengthened. I hope this makes sense. You can't be around just anyone. If you are weak, I'm not saying I am so strong and so tough and whatever else like that. No. I have my own problems. But I think it is quite interesting that you may believe you can be around anyone just because you have God in your life. I believe there are some people I should not be around. 
maybe I am weak towards this or that. So maybe if I get around certain types of people, I may fall to sin. Listen, I have to watch my thoughts so much because it seems like my thoughts can run off to somewhere bad so many times. So I have to, I guess I can say guard my thoughts. Rebuke the devil. We are in a war. I hope this makes sense. We are in a spiritual war. If you are living for Christ now, you better believe, I believe demons are trying to get you back. It is not worth it. Everyone can't be your friend. Everyone is not your friend. Everyone, I believe, doesn't have your best interests in mind. So guard yourself. It, there is nothing wrong with being alone per se. Stop being so thirsty to want to be around people. Let me stop here. God bless you.